Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, Tatiana. Good evening, Aida, Sofia, Janet, Edwin. Let's see who good else. Evening. How are you? How is your Friday? Good, right? <laughs> good. You have a good Friday, good weekend. Very good. Gracias por conectarse porque es viernes, ¿verdad? Hoy no tenemos que tener clase, pero tenemos clase, ¿verdad? Para reponer la de miércoles. Pero este es bueno porque así terminamos la sección y ya la próxima semana es la última semana. O sea, ya van a terminar este módulo. Así que este nada más faltarían ya cuatro clases. Ya la próxima semana, pues, terminamos con con este módulo de inglés. Así que, este, no sé si ya trabajaron en la plataforma o tienen alguna duda, porque parece que hoy era el último día para poder entregarlo, ¿verdad? Todo, todo resuelta la, la plataforma. No todas, sino que la, la plataforma, la de la sección 4, nada más. Ah, bueno. ¿Terminaron todo? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta o duda? Solo una pregunta. ¿Cuánto está costando el, el libro New Interchange? El, 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 el más... El es Interchange. De actualizada, la edición más actualizada. Eso depende de la institución, ¿verdad? La institución de donde lo venda. Más o menos va como 23, más o menos a, ahí va. Gracias. Como 20, 23 dólares. Ajá, y trae, quedan... trae, trae los CDs, ¿verdad? Sí, trae los CDs y trae un libro para ejercicios y el de las clases. Ok. Gracias. Ok. Entonces, este es eh, el módulo que tenían que terminar, el, el de principiante, la sección 4. Broccoli is good for you. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca del módulo? ¿O ya lo terminaron? Do you have any question about any section, yeah. any part? Mire, yo, yo sí tengo varias preguntas. Ajá. Terminando los primeros tres módulos de principiante, uh -huh. no van a exigir más que hablemos. Yes. Sí, cada vez es más, ¿verdad? En principiante, pues, es difícil también hablar a través de, de las, en las cámaras y todo eso. Entonces, hablamos español, hablamos más español. Pero de ahí, solo casi todas las clases son en inglés. Y ustedes solo tienen que hablar en inglés y van a hacer más actividades en inglés. Bueno, gracias. Ok, very good. So, remember to work in your platform if you haven't finished. Recuerden trabajar en la plataforma si aún no han terminado. Y ahora vamos a, a completar la sección, ¿verdad? La the section number four. Uh, do we have any homework? ¿Teníamos tarea? Yes or no? Mire, sí tenemos tarea. Yo le tomé foto, pero no me acuerdo las indicaciones. Solo me acuerdo que ahí tengo la fotografía, pero no. No sé si era ordenar las oraciones. Ajá. No you, have, you have this picture? ¿Esta es la fotografía que tiene? No, era otra. This one? Do, donde salía esta, esa, esta. Exacto. Yes, Pero, esta es la... Y es que no me equivoqué, tomando esa como base para, para la tarea de exaula. Sí, esta los iba a ayudar, ¿verdad? Porque uh, we, were, we were going to talk about the breakfast, del like desayuno. What do we have for breakfast? Y este es lo que utilizábamos, ¿verdad? Pero eso lo hicimos ayer, ya las ordenamos, así nada más verbalmente. Y estas es lo que vamos a hacer. Por ejemplo, vamos a elegir una persona y esa persona va a decir qué, qué desayuna usando los adverbios de frecuencia. Por ejemplo, I always have coffee. I always have coffee. I usually eat eggs. And I hardly ever eat... Uh, pastry or pan dulce, right? Pastry. 
or bread or tortilla, right? It depends. Entonces, ya cuando haya respondido esta persona, va a haber otra y le va a pre preguntar a otro compañero de clases. Le va a preguntar esta, la que está aquí. What do you usually have for breakfast? Y aquí tenemos unos ejemplos. Well, I have coffee and cereal. So we can say I often have coffee and cereal, right? Sometimes I have breakfast at my desk or I eat breakfast in my office or in my house. Hardly ever I have rice, right? Entonces vamos a tener que usar los adverbs of frequency para decir que desayunamos. Are you ready? Yes, right. It's easy, right? Easy. <laughs> okay, very good. Now we are going to begin. Let's see. Okay, Carla Liliana, go, no problem. Okay, Carla Liliana tiene problemas con la participación, así que no eh, traten de, ella solo va a estar de oyente para esta clase. Okay, hi, Gabriela. Presente, okay, thank you, thank you. Now, ya vamos a pasar lista, entonces vamos a empezar. I need a volunteer, a volunteer. So tell me what, what do they have for breakfast? Juan Volunteer, ¿qué es lo que desayunan? Usando a um, frequency. Uh -huh. Y tenemos que decir en sí, de, de usually. Yes, usually, always, often, sometimes. Uh -huh. um, de usually, eh, yogur, eh, yogur, ¿verdad? Yes, yogur is yogur. Yogur, yogur. yogur and eh, the eh, arándano uh -huh. eh, pancakes is pancakes siempre <laughs> yeah pancakes is pancakes um eh, eggs eh, huevos eggs eh, eh, pero solo me como la clara no la yema solo las claras de huevo como okay, say, just... how do you say clara de huevo whites the white of whites. the egg mm -hmm. the white uh -huh. And the coffee and milk. Mm -hmm. eh, como, how do you say almendras? Almond. Almond. Ah, okay. And agua. Water. Water. Okay, very good. Do you eat any fruit? And me las han quitado casi todas, pero solo en the apple, pero como se dice manzana roja. Red apples. Red apples, red apples. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Es que Gabriel. me tienen con dieta como de diabética ahorita. Entonces, oh, yeah. Ya tengo casi un mes y medio de estar comiendo solo eso. Okay, and it's hard, right? It's hard, difficult. Uh -huh. Entonces okay. ya ahorita ya, ya me pasó la etapa de ansiedad, entonces solo ni modo. <laughs> I can imagine that, yes. I imagine that. Now, Gabriela, ask one of your classmates uh, that question. What do you usually have for breakfast? Pregúntele a alguien, what do you usually have for breakfast? Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver quién está dormido. <laughs> Quiero ver. Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Tatiana. Okay, Tatiana, are you there? Eh. <laughs> Second name. Tatiana, Tatiana. Villanueva. Ah, Villanueva. Es que me okay. acuerdo que al principio del curso habían dos Tatianas. Uh -huh. Pero bueno. Okay, okay, go ahead. <laughs> Tatiana Villanueva. <laughs> está bien, está bien. <laughs> Okay, ask her the question. What's the question? Uh, what is the question, Gabriela? Uh, what do you, or sería, what do you do have uh, breakfast? Uh, what do you usually have for breakfast? What do you usually uh, have, have for breakfast? breakfast? Very good. Uh, if I work, I don't... Uh, I don't have for I don't have breakfast. 
-hmm. but I stay in my house. Um, usually takes fried eggs with tomatoes, onions, green pepper, or loroco flour. Mm -hmm. Qué rico. Um, <laughs> huevito con oro picado. Yes. Uh, uh, ¿Cómo se dice acompañar? Y lo acompaño. And I eat it with. Oh, okay. I eat it with avocado and uh, one tortilla homemade in how homemade. Sí, 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 homemade, verdad. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eso. Okay. Nothing more. Nothing more. And what do you drink? Con tortillas de harina, dijo, ¿verdad? Sí. Homemade. Ajá, homemade. Ajá. Ajá. Eso es en casa. Hecho en eh, casa. Eh, mm -hmm. eh, And what do you drink? Coffee, coffee milk. Coffee, but coffee, only coffee with more sugar. <laughs> <laughs> with more sugar than coffee. Okay. It's back to my health, pero. It's sugar with coffee. Sugar with coffee, yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. And uh, now Tatiana asks someone else, what do you usually have for breakfast? Okay, excuse me. Uh, one moment, please. Okay. It's going to wait a little bit. Ay, Edwin está emocionado que quiere decir después. Ah, okay. Edwin está dormido ahorita. I will be sleeping. Okay. Mm. Eric Daniel Sosa. Eric Daniel Sosa, are you there? Yes. Okay, ask the question, please. Uh, do you have breakfast or not? And what do you... What do you eat for breakfast? Uh -huh. What do you usually have for breakfast? Uh -huh. Eric? Okay. I usually have French bread and coffee for breakfast. Okay, just that? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, just bread and coffee, and that's it. No fruits, sí, es... no eggs, eh, no, no nothing. Okay. Nothing. Okay, very good. That's okay. Edwin, uh, ask. I'm sorry, Eric. Ask someone else, please. Do, what do you usually have for breakfast? Okay. Okay. Mm. Um, Sofia Bautista. Sofia Bautista, are you there? Aquí estoy. Okay, ask the question, Eric, please. What do you usually have for breakfast? Okay. I often eat fried eggs. Mm -hmm. Fried banana, mm -hmm. bean, mm -hmm. cheese, bread, and I drink a cup of coffee. Finish. Okay, very good. So you usually have fried eggs, fried bananas, and a cup of coffee and bread. Very good. Now, I try to use all uh, Sophia did, right? Uh, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever. Uh, Sofia, ask someone else, please. Uh -huh. uh, you're not able to see the names? No puede ver los nombres? We have Janet, we have Francisco, Celia, Aida, we have Edwin, Tat uh, Tatiana already participated. Eh, Tatiana. No, Tatiana ya participó. We have ah, Jennifer, we have Carla, Claudia, Gedeon, that is coming late. Gedeon. 
Gedeon, are you there? Gedeon, are you there? I'm here. Okay, Estaba good dormido. evening. <laughs> okay, Gedeon, uh, we are asking a question. We are asking, what do you usually have for breakfast? And Sofia wants to ask you that. Okay, ask Sofia. Sofia, ask are you there? Ask the question, yeah. Sofia. What do you usually mm -hmm. have for breakfast? Uh huh. Very good. Um, I usually mm -hmm. um, have breakfast, coffee, mm -hmm. and bread, mm -hmm. and milk. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Uh -huh. That's what? it. Eso es todo. Coffee. Yeah. Yes. Milk and bread. Yes. Is 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 all. Okay. That's all. And all. You don't Para need. Decir, dos pupusas y un café. <laughs> uh -huh. Do, two pupusas and one coffee. You don't need pupusas. Uh, sometimes. 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 Sometime. One pupusas. coffee. Así sería. <laughs> yes. Two pupusas and one coffee. Yes. Ah. Yes. Pupusas. Yes. Yes. Okay, very good, Gedeon. Now ask someone else. Pregúntele a alguien más de sus compañeros. Ya participó Tatiana, Eric, eh, Gabriela y Sofía. So, ask one of your classmates. What okay. do you usually have for breakfast? Le voy a, okay, voy a preguntar. Quiero ver. Eh. Carla Durán. Carla Durán. Are you there, Carla Durán? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ask the question, Gedeon. Uh, what do you, what do you, uh, usually, mm -hmm. eso, verdad? What do you yeah. usually have, have for breakfast? Mm -hmm. I always drink coffee and sometimes eat pupusas. You always Excelente. okay, very good. You always drink coffee and sometimes pupusas. Sí, sí. Always, Excelente. Always okay, what always. is your what is your favorite pupusa, Carla? The flavor. Uh, the cheese. Cheese pupusa. Cheese. Okay, very good. Yes. Perfect, Carla. What uh, ask someone else? Alguien más de sus compañeros que no haya yes. participado. Uh -huh. uh, Janet Rosibel. Okay, ¿Qué? Janet. Are you there, Janet? Hi. Por lo menos hoy tardaron, teacher. <laughs> okay, very good. Ask the question, Carla. What do you What do you do usually, usually have for breakfast? Mm -hmm. I usually have an egg. With vegetables, ¿cómo se dice? Vegetables. Vegetables. Thank you. Bean, cheesy, and coffee for breakfast. Some type two or three pupusas and coffee. Okay, very good. So eggs with vegetables and coffee and pupusas. Very good. Janet, uh, ask someone else. Mm. Cecilia, Verónica ya participó. No. 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 Cecilia, what do you usually have for breakfast? Okay, Cecilia, what do you usually have for breakfast, Cecilia? Teacher, I never eat breakfast. You never eat breakfast? No. Why? I always eat only lunch. Only lunch, and you don't get sick, you don't have any problems if you don't eat breakfast. No, never. Porque como voy a la U en la mañana, no me da hambre. So you're not hungry uh, in at 10, 9 a.m. No, no hungry. No, como sería, solo me tomo una taza de café cuando mucho. Really? Oh, that's amazing. Just one, no, just pero one. Trate, trate uh -huh. de comer porque. Como consejo, se lo digo que yo por hacer eso, ahorita estoy padeciendo de una úlcera gástrica. 
No se yes. trate que sea de comerse un pan o una gavena porque es malísimo. Solo es un tiempo de comida todos los días, teacher. Just lunch. Oh. No Only dinner. Lunch. No dinner, no. No. Ok, ok. <laughs> If you feel fine. Yo me muero. Gedeon <laughs> dies, yes. Ok, ok, that's amazing, but it's ok, just one cup of coffee. Now, Celia, um, ask someone else, Celia. Mm. Uh, Jennifer Raquel. Jennifer Raquel. Okay, ask the question to Jennifer Raquel. What do you usually have for breakfast? Uh, always I have, I have fried eggs and beans for breakfast with bread and fried bananas and drinky milk with coffee. That's all. Okay, okay very good. So fried eggs and fried bananas and milk with coffee perfect now jennifer ask someone else mm, ya participó edwin no i no, don't eso estoy esperando ah, okay <laughs> <laughs> okay edwin uh, what do you have for breakfast i usually have tropical breakfast that are eggs beans tamal sauce of tomato and cream eat and drink a coffee every day Okay, very good, very good, Edwin. Now ask someone else. Fitness. <laughs> Fitness. Quiero ver. Uh, Francisco Javier, ya participó. Okay. No, I don't think so, no. Okay, what do you usually have for breakfast? Uh, I usually have for, br have for breakfast uh, cheese and beans. Uh, Eggs in, in coffee or milk. Okay, and that will be milk, like uh, milk from the cow, right? Nor, not almond milk. Milk. Milk, okay, milk, regular milk. Okay, very good, Francisco. Now ask someone else. Vamos a buscar, permítame Aida Marisol. Okay, Aida Marisol, are, are you there? Uh, what do you do? Yes. What, what do you usually have for breakfast? What do you usually have for breakfast, Aida? I usually eggs. Eggs. Uh -huh. um, onion, tomato, tortilla. I drink um, water. Water. Okay. Water. No coffee. No milk. Right. Um, sometimes oatmeal and and milk. Okay. Sometimes oatmeal and milk. Very good. En Saturday, carne asada, donde la señora de ahí ve. <laughs> carne asada, right. No, pero, pero eso es para el lunch. Ah, that's for lunch. Yes, that's for lunch. La entradita. That's for lunch. lunch. <laughs> exactly, that's for lunch. Now, Aida, mm -hmm. ask someone else. Um, Carla eh, Liliana. Carla Liliana, let's see. Carla Are you there, Liliana. Carla? Are you there? I guess she she. Voy en camino a la casa, pero díganme. She's in the street. I don't have breakfast. You, you don't have breakfast? Uh, I don't have. Okay, another person, I, no breakfast. How how do you say papaya? Papaya. I papaya. sometimes eat papaya. You only eat papaya. Ok. Te hago la pregunta entonces si ¿sí se puede con Carla o tiene problema ella. No, si ¿sí puedo hacerle la pregunta. Ya respondí. Ya ah, respondí. Sorry. Only papaya. She said only papaya. But you can ask uh, someone else, Aida. You can ask someone else. Very good. Uh, mm. Eh...
Jose Edgardo. Okay, Jose Edgardo, are you there? Are you there? Can you hear me, Jose Edgardo? Okay. Yes, okay, ask her, Aida. What do you usually have for breakfast? Mm -hmm. uh, I usually uh, coffee and pupusas. Only coffee and pupusas? Always? Yes. Every yes. day? Every day? <laughs> Every day, <laughs> every day. Okay, very good, Jose Edgardo. Ask someone else, please. Okay. Uh, Eric Daniel. Okay, uh, no, he already participated. I creo que ya participó. Alguien más? Okay, okay, este... Jennifer Raquel. Okay, Jennifer, creo que ya participó también. Okay, vamos a ver. Uh, Sofía Bautista. She already participated. We have Claudia, I guess she hasn't participated. Luisa. Mayra. Mm. Luisa ya estuvo. No, Luisa no. Okay, Luis Antons. Okay. Uh, okay, Luisa, what do you usually have for breakfast? My breakfast is usually fried eggs, beans, cheese, sometimes cream, bread, and coffee. Bread and coffee. And do you eat dessert? For breakfast? Uh, no, lo entiendo. <laughs> Do you eat dessert? Like postre? Uh, no. No, all right. No. Oh, no. Okay, no. very good. Just uh, <laughs> fried eggs and coffee and no milk, right? No, milk. Coffee. Coffee. Okay, very good. Perfect. Perfect. So we are going to finish right now with this exercise. Very good. Uh, most of you participated and thank you very much. Now we are going to continue. Vamos a revisar un poco acerca de, de esta conversación, ¿verdad? It says a uh, Japanese breakfast. We are going just to listen like one, once or twice. And now you will tell me what happens in the conversation. Just let me check here. Creo que la tengo aquí para que ustedes la escuchen, para que no se acostumbren al, al, al sonido de una persona nada más. Just let me look for it. Y nada más avísenme si la, si la escuchan. Esta grabación lleva acento japonés. No. Ah, bueno. No, it's just regular accent. Just, I have it here. Okay, solo lo vamos a escuchar y ustedes me van a decir de qué se trata. You will, you will tell me what the conversation is about. Coffee with milk. Page 61. Exercise 6. Conversation. We always have green tea. Listen and practice. What is a typical Japanese breakfast, Kaito? Well, we usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Oh, it's really good. Sometimes we have a salad, too. But we never have coffee. Really? What do you have? We always have green tea. I love green tea. Listen, my family usually has a Japanese-style breakfast on weekends. Why don't you come to my house on Sunday? That's very nice of you. Thanks. Okay, do you want to listen to it again? Or that's enough? Yes. Yes. You. Just one more time. Okay. Repeat. Yeah, we'll repeat it one more time and I will ask you about the conversation. 
Let's see. Page 61. Exercise 6. Conversation. We always have green tea. Listen and practice. What is a typical Japanese breakfast, Kaito? Well, we usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Oh, it's really good. Sometimes we have a salad, too. But we never have coffee. Really? What do you have? We always have green tea. I love green tea. Listen, my family usually has a Japanese-style breakfast on weekends. Why don't you come to my house on Sunday? That's very nice of you. Thanks. Okay, perfect. What was the conversation about? ¿De qué se trató la conversación? De qué es lo de que la comida japonesa. Desayuno, 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 and green tea, exactly. They never have coffee, right? Never. ¿Alguna vez ustedes han comido fish or rice or soup para breakfast? Solo que me levante a las dos. Only if you get up at noon. Yes, yes, probably. Never. Right? But that would be... Una sopa de patas. Yeah, sopa de patas, yes. Se goma, amaneció. Yes, that's for go my. No, es que de, es que de, no, es que de ah. hecho, de hecho en San Miguel eso es una forma de desayuno. Siempre hay así como comida fuerte, casamiento, carnes, arroz. O sea, ya se comen la mayoría. Oh, para el desayuno. Sí, para el desayuno. También en Guatemala. Sí, sí, sí paisados. Sí, que si quiere comer algo fuerte lo haya, lo haya a esa hora. ¿eh? Más que todo la sopa, que es bien característico ahí, la sopa de patas. Mm. Oh, you see, you see, we didn't know that. We didn't know. So, sopa de patas really? for, for breakfast. <laughs> Very Never. Good. Never. Okay, you <laughs> see. But it's, it depends on the culture, right? On, on the place they eat. For example, Japanese people, they eat uh, fish, rice, soup, green tea. And San Miguel, they eat carne asada for, for, for mm. breakfast. Uh, sopa de patas, right? Different. And things. pupusas con with ketchup a pupusa Acala. with ketchup <laughs> and Guacala, mayonnaise que horrible. <laughs> and mayonnaise <laughs> it depends it depends hay alguien de San Miguel aquí deberían probarla <laughs> ya lo, no lo ofendieron son super buenas hay, hay alguien de San Miguel sí hay al parecer sí en serio y también se y también se las comen con esa con la cosa negra que dicen esa es pregunta solo quiero saber son las mejores con no, salsa hey. roja y salsa negra en serio y sabe mejor ¿Qué? que la salsa natural de tomate okay really good deberían probarla y les va a gustar les garantizo no sabía eso we will try vamos a ver vamos a ver si nos gusta y si no fue culpa de de Nerlin vamos a decir okay ¿En very serio? good <laughs> very good so very good thank you for your participation and that was about the uh, the breakfast right but we are going to practice also with the adverse of frequency porque vi, vi que casi nadie los usó en, en la, solo lo usaron unos pocos pero esta es la manera correcta de usarlo so this is the word order right subject el sujeto sería I or Daniel the adverb and después a main verb. I often read in bed at night, right? Often can be said often or often. It's okay both ways. Daniel always passes his exams. So that is the correct order, okay? And this is the correct order with the verb to be. First is the subject, then the verb to be, and then the adverb. For, ex for example, I am normally busy at work. He is always happy. They are sometimes late. And this is the order, right, with uh, the different uh, adverbs of frequency. Usually, normally, 
frequently, occasionally, and sometimes. Sometimes, uh, occasionally and normally can be at the beginning, right? Occasionally, I have pancakes for breakfast. Or I occasionally have pancakes for breakfast. It's okay. Está bien de las dos maneras. Si lo pone al principio o lo pone después del sujeto. Y también, normally, our English class is in the morning. So, that's okay. Si lo ponen al principio, también está bien. So, los que van al principio pueden ser usually, normally, frequently, generally, occasionally, and sometimes. Y estos no se ponen al principio. Always, hardly ever, seldom, rarely. Estos no van al principio. Nada más always or never cuando son órdenes o instrucciones, ¿verdad? For example, always I get up early. No, that is incorrect. The correct way is I always get up early. And this is, uh, these are the formulas, right? To keep on writing the sentences. The, you can find this in the platform. Estas la pueden encontrar en la plataforma. Estas fórmulas, pero yo se las voy a dar acá. And this is the, um, the average of frequency, right? Always, usually, normally or generally, often, frequently, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, and never. Um, let's see. Um, Janet, can you give me one sentence with always, please? Repeat, please. Can you give me one sentence with always? Que adverbio? Uh, always. Always. Siempre. I always study after class. I always study after class. Very good. Ahora, dígame una usted. Con always. De los, de los mismos ejemplos o otro. Otro, ajá. Tenemos ahí el ejemplo, pero está otro. Con, con always. I always con, never. Ajá. I always. Um, the coffee. I always drink coffee. Okay, very good. Thank I, you. Very good. Now we have usually. The example says, I usually walk to work. Usualmente yo walk, camino, ¿verdad? To work. Let's see, Edwin, give me one sentence with usually. Yes. Um, I usually wash my motorcycle. I usually wash my motorcycle. Very good. Motorcycle. Perfect. Let's see. I usually sleep after the class English. Very good. <laughs> I usually sleep after the English class. Very good. Now, Ricardo, give me one with normally. Yo le acabo de decir esa. Usualmente voy a dormir después de las clases de inglés. Oh, so with normally, I can write normally, right? I normally go to sleep, right? After the sleep. English class. Very good. Very good. Perfect. Now let's see Aida. Give me one with often. I often exercise. I often exercise, very good, very good. I often exercise, very good. Nerlin, give me one with sometimes. Hi, um, quiero ver. Mm -hmm. The example says, ahí el ejemplo dice, I sometimes sing in the shower. So you can give me something similar. Uh -huh. um, mira, ahorita no se me ocurre. Es que sí, me, me he perdido un poquito aquí en la clase. O sea, sí estoy en la clase, va, pero no, no, no he agarrado el hilo ahorita. Ah, uh, ok. That's why we are doing this exercise. So vamos a ver. Okay. ¿Alguien que le quiera ayudar a Nerlin? Una oración con sometimes. I uh -huh. sometimes run in the morning very good i sometimes run in the morning 
Very good. Claudia, give me something with occasionally. Occasionalmente. The example says, I occasionally go to bed late. Give me one with occasionally. Uh -huh. Yo ocasionalmente. Espérame, déjame pensar. Ajá. <laughs> Ay, no sé, me voy. For example, <laughs> uh, something that you eat for breakfast. What is something that you eat for breakfast? Puedo decir, I occasionally uh -huh. eh, the party. The party. <laughs> I occasionally the party. the party. After the English class, the go, go to the party. Go ah, to very, the party, but I don't... occasionally go to the party. To the party. After the English class. After. The... <laughs> <laughs> okay, very, good. very good. Yes, because today is Friday, right? In weekend. No? <laughs> yes, weekend. <laughs> After the English class, bye, right? <laughs> to the party. Very good. Let's see. Seldom. Uh, let's see, Carla Liliana, give me one with seldom. How do you say seldom, prof? Lo mismo iba a preguntar. Seldom. Uh -huh. Raramente. Uh -huh. Sí, raramente, uh -huh. rara vez. Exactly. Seldom. I seldom drink coffee. Very good. I seldom. Drink and that is true. That is true. You seldom drink coffee. Hola. <laughs> y eso es re, real? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. I seldom drink coffee. Let's see um, another one. Jennifer, give me one with hardly ever or rare, rarely. I hardly ever um, go to the gym in the morning. Very good. I hardly ever go to the gym in the morning. Solo la inscripción se pagó. Yes, like many people. <laughs> Solo tres. Una vez al mes. ¿eh? Una vez al mes. And the last one, let's see. Myra Perez, give me one with never. I never drink coffee. I never drink coffee. Very good. So you see. The subject and then the adverb of frequency, right? I always, I usually, I normally. So the same, right? Así pueden ir practicando ustedes. Sometimes, I occasionally, seldom, and hardly ever. Pero eso es con la fórmula de la izquierda, ¿verdad? Sujeto más adverbio de frecuencia más verbo principal. Yes, Maybe. this is with this, uh -huh. this is with this formula. Y yes, esta fórmula es con el verbo to be. He is always happy. Entonces, subject con yeah. el verbo to be y el adverbio. He is... Es Terceras personas, ¿verdad? Ah, uh, you can say, I, I am always happy. Uh, I am uh, always uh, happy. Uh -huh. So yeah. the subject can be he, she, we, they, any subject. All pronouns. Yeah, all the pronouns. Okay, now we are going, let's see what time it is. We are going to finish with this. And at the end, let's see if it is, there is time for the listening. Voy a terminar con la gramática y vamos a ver si hay tiempo para el listening. This is rapidito, how often, uh, with that frequency, I want to know the frequency. How often quiere decir que tan seguido, verdad? How often mm -hmm. do you brush your teeth? Que tan seguido te lavas los dientes, verdad? And we can say it in different uh, ways. Lo podemos decir de diferentes maneras. Por ejemplo, una vez al día se dice once a day, verdad? Dos veces a la semana, dos veces quiere decir twice, verdad? Twice. Yes. A week, dos veces a la semana. Three times a month, tres veces al mes. Four times a year, cuatro veces al año, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando quiero decir una vez, no digo one a day, sino que once, ¿verdad? O twice. For example, he has lunch with 
his mother once a week. Él tiene el almuerzo, almuerzo con su madre una vez a la semana. She visits the dentist twice a year. Ella visita al dentista dos veces al año. I brush my teeth three times a day. Me lavo los dientes tres veces al día. O sea, times no es tiempo, sino que veces, ¿verdad? My goes to the gym four times a week. My va al gimnasio cuatro veces a la semana. Uh, do you four have times a year. Four times a year, yes. <laughs> cuatro veces al año. Exactly. Very good. So that is the way that we express how often. And we have different time periods. Tenemos diferentes periodos de tiempo, ¿verdad? Every day, every week, every month, every year. ¿Verdad? Cada, cada año, semana, mes o año. Eso es igual a daily. Every day is the same as daily, diariamente, ¿verdad? Every week, weekly, semanalmente. Every month, monthly, mensualmente. Y every year, annually, ¿verdad? Anualmente. Y ahí están unos ejemplos. We pay our mortgage every month or monthly. The zoo is open every day or daily. I call her daily to make sure she is fine. Every day, right? Daily. The subscription needs to be paid annually, every year. So, eso es lo mismo. Every day, daily. ¿Verdad? Lo mismo. Pueden decirlo de las dos maneras. Eh, y a veces cada dos días, every two days, cada tres semanas, every three weeks, etc. ¿Verdad? Every four weeks. Y ahí tenemos más ejemplos. There is a leap day every four years. I have to take one tablet every eight hours. The magazine is published every two weeks. Entonces, cada dos días cada, es lo mismo. Y Fortnite es una palabra de inglesa, ¿verdad? De eh, británica, que significa cada dos semanas. Fortnite. No el juego, ¿verdad? Sino que es, es el periodo de tiempo. Now, um, do you have any questions after? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Yes, um, the pronunciation uh, and the time period is uh, the month, creo que era. No sé si puede pasar al anterior. Mm -hmm. no, es, es, es monthly o monthly? Monthly. Con, como con F, monthly. E ese sonido no existe en, en español. Es como que se mordiera la lengua con los dientes y soplara aire, ¿verdad? Porque lleva TH, ¿verdad? Monthly. Ajá, TH, monthly. Ajá, sí, monthly. Okay. ¿Puedo Very poner good. la primera diapositiva del often, por favor? This one? Sí, 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 permítame. Este, entonces, how often, eso es frecuencia, ¿verdad? Y ahorita vamos a practicar. Gracias. Ok, no questions, no more questions. Okay, perfect. So, for example, Tatiana, how often do you wash your hair? Uh, <laughs> two or three times in the week. Okay, three times a week, tres veces a la semana. Or two. <laughs> okay, or two, two times a week. Okay, very sí. good. Okay, very good. Es que se oh. cae el pelo. Yes, yes, that's what they say, yes. Yeah. So I wash my hair uh, twice a week or three times a week, right? Very good. Let's see. Gedeon, how often do you go to the dentist? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> how often do you go? Never. Never. Twice, never. Never. No, but it's recommendable to go twice a year, right? Twice a year. Very twice. Good. Yeah, twice. Okay. But you never go. Okay, no problem. Let's see, Luisa. How often do you eat fast food? Um, um, <laughs> um, every week, every uh, weekend. Uh, Every every week, every week, every weekend on Saturdays or Sundays. Saturdays. Saturdays. Okay, perfect, mm -hmm. perfect. Let's see. Uh, Sofia Bautista, how often do you get a haircut? Mm. 
Sofía, are you there? Once, once, once a year. Once a year. Okay, very good. So you get a haircut once a year. No problem. Thank you. Eric, Daniel, how often do you brush your teeth? Three, uh, three times for a day. Three times a day. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Three times a day. Perfect. Let's see. Aida, how often do you go to a restaurant? Or no, two and um, one at weekend. Once a week during the Once weekend. A, the weekend. Okay, on weekends. Okay, Francisco Javier. Oh, we finished, but we are going to ask you the same. How often do you go to a restaurant, Francisco? Es muy, es la misma, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes, the same one. Eh, para decir este, el, el mes mensualmente, ¿cómo era la pronunciación, teacher? Monthly. 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 So, monthly, you go once a month or monthly, right? Once a month. Okay, what, what, which restaurant do you go? Eh, one, once a month. <laughs> but which one? ¿Cuál? ¿A cuál restaurante va? Pollo Campero. Pollo Campero, mm -hmm. Pizza Hut. Eh, Papayón. Los, los, los locales. Pupusería. Pupusería. No, Doña no. Ana, no. <laughs> Little Caesar. Little no. Caesar. China. <laughs> no, este, los lo locales, teacher, no, no necesariamente una marca. ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Ok, yes. Ah, ok, la the local Rossi. one. La Rossi. <laughs> Rossi. Ok, very good. Very good, Francisco. Very good. Perfect. So, uh, this is, uh, aquí está resumido, ¿verdad? How often, ¿verdad? The, how do you say it? Once a week, monthly, daily. So, eso le, lo, se lo voy a enviar para que ustedes practiquen. Let's see. Vaya, vamos a ver, tenemos unos minutos todavía. Creo que no sé si me va a alcanzar el tiempo para este. Si no, solo lo vamos a escuchar y lo vamos a dejar para después. Porque tarea, yo creo que tarea no vamos a dejar. Así que pasar lista. Yes, thank you, Gabriela. Gabriela always reminded me about that. Si solo vamos a ver cuántos minutos dura este. Y vamos a pasar lista. Quiero ver, este es. Este ejercicio nada más es de escuchar y tenemos que usar el never, always. Um, ya lo van a ver ahí, aquí está. Vamos a escuchar a Paul y Megan, van a hablar acerca de comida. Y vamos a ver qué tan seguido comen pasta, hamburgers, Fish, eggs, and broccoli. Y con eso vamos a terminar el día de hoy. Este, me dicen si lo pueden escuchar y si no, me dicen también. And... This is another exercise that you can do. And I'm going to play the video and you can do the exercise sí, se oye. afterwards. Ok. Qué rápido, no lo entiendo. Page 62, exercise 8, listening. Really? Never? Part A. Paul and Megan are talking about food. How often does Megan eat these foods? Listen and check often, sometimes, or never. So what looks good, Megan? I don't know yet. Well, do you like pasta? Oh, yeah. I often eat pasta for dinner. I just don't want it tonight. What about a hamburger? Oh, no. I never eat hamburgers. I don't eat meat. Really? Never? No, never. Sometimes I have fish or eggs, but never beef. 
So, do you eat a lot of vegetables? Yes. Broccoli is my favorite. I often just have a big plate of broccoli for dinner. Okay, did you have the answers? Yes. En la segunda yes. dijo que never. <laughs> yes, exactly. No le gusta la carne. No le gusta la hamburguesa. Exactly. She doesn't like meat, no come carne. She do, never hamburgers. Solo el broccoli fish. le encanta. Yes, just <laughs> broccoli, often, right? And fish, what happened with fish? Sometimes. Eggs. Sometimes. Sometimes. Some, and eggs? Sometimes. Sometimes. With Sometimes. fish. With fish. This. Yes, with sometimes. the fish, right? She mentioned that with fish sometimes. So pasta often, hamburgers never, fish sometimes, eggs sometimes, and broccoli? Often. Often. Often, dinner. often yeah, for dinner, right? A big bowl of broccoli. Perfect. So we are going to finish the class right now. No vamos a dejar tarea para que ustedes descansen porque ya existieron hoy miércoles. Así que voy a pasar nada más la lista. Y si no los menciono, me avisan. Quiero ver, Aida. Present. Present. Gabriela. Present, teacher. Edwin. Present, present. Myra. Present. Uh, Jennifer. I'm here. Francisco. Present, teacher. Jose Edgardo. Present teacher. Claudia. Present. Ricardo. Present. Celia. Present. Carla Liliana. Present teacher. Edwin. Present, otra vez. Tatiana. Present. Mayra. Present. Jennifer Raquel. Presente. Ya le había dicho. Oh, sorry. Yes. Uh, Eric. Present. Luisa. Present. Nerlin. Present. Carla. Present. And Sofia Bautista. Present. Thank you very much. Okay. Now we are going to finish the class. Para la próxima clase, nada más, eh, le voy a mandar esta presentación. Sí, claro. Ajá. Sí, sure. Yo yes. falté. Janet, oh, sorry. Janet. Yo falté. Sorry, a, mí Janet. Me, a mí no me mencionó, teacher. En Hedeon, sorry, Hedeon, <laughs> sorry. Ok, Hedeon, thank you. Sí, gracias por avisarme. Ahora, este... No vamos a dejar tarea, pero le voy, a, le voy a mandar la presentación para que tengan todo esto y practiquen los adverbs of frequency, porque el lunes solo lo vamos a repasar, solo lo vamos a practicar con un ejercicio, este, con este role play, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer un role play para hablar acerca de eh, lo que hacemos usualmente eh, usando los adverbs of frequency. Do you have any question, any doubt or problem? ¿Alguna duda, alguna pregunta? No. Ok, recuerden completar la plataforma porque algunos creo que ya completaron o ya van en la sección 5 o en middle exam, si ya van ahí, pues qué bueno, ¿verdad? Y hasta si el no, diploma pues, me mandaron ya. Hasta el diploma, exacto. Pero Una si no, cosa, eh, ajá. se tendría que completar la mitad también del 5, ¿verdad? Porque a mí así me lo mandaron. Toda me dijeron, la de 5. Me dijeron que solo el 50% del 5 nada más. Ah, Toda okay. completa. Toda yo hice todo. No, igual, eh, si me dijeron a mí el 50% completar de la sección 5. Ok, ok, entonces traten de completar el 50% de la sección 5, si pueden toda, para que no tengan ningún problema o no les estén diciendo así que le falta o algo así para el diploma, ¿verdad? Así que nos vemos el lunes. Gracias por el esfuerzo de conectarse hoy y que pasen feliz fin de semana. Have a great weekend, ok? Take care. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank See you. you. Bye bye, teacher. Bye. Leave. Leave me. Bye.